no, I'm just saying, but I'm saying the no, but the know, market's been the cap. Do you bro, not know how, is, how the cap is going up year over year? So that's wait, how wait, 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 so wait, 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 but here's my thing. This team oh, is, match is so clear. Here's, bro, here's my cool. thing. Everyone, uh, like you said, you he's like so that, clear. He has the same contract as Darren Fox. He's so he's better than so Darren Fox. Like, it's so I clear. It's a bad move, but Fox they were, they're not a team that's just. Phoenix like, is not of clear of Shea Long. Hey, come on, he's better than Fox. What are we doing? Boing boing. No, 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 no. I, no, I, I said I think I think Fox is also overpaid. Oh, so I don't. But the market's been set for players like that. You don't just pay players like what they're supposed to be play- paid when other players are being no, paid and I, more. No, and I, I, I get that. But when I'm, but you leave that responsibility for the teams that drafted him or who's, who has no other options but to pay them. So, yes, Rudy Gobert and the market that valued him, that is something that Utah dealt with. Until they, until they, you know, they traded him. Same thing with Russell Westbrook. That's something that OKC dealt with when they gave him that that extension. But it's, and I'm not saying that Donovan Mitchell went off the face of the earth in the middle of his contract the way that um, Westbrook did. But as soon as you start, when you move around and other teams have to deal with the contract that you now have, it's like, okay, am I actually going to get the return? on this contract that was signed under the premises of him being on this other team, not on mine. And so, yes, for the Jazz, I can understand that concept of him being paid 30, 30 M's, 30 to 37 M's. I'm saying if I already have Colin Sexton, and I'm not saying that Colin Sexton is as good as the Mitchell, but if I'm going to get scoring production from a two guard, I would much rather see what I can get out of Colin Sexton for half of the fucking price. But that's the thing, nigga. It's not just scoring. You keep thinking about this as if this is just a scoring improvement for the Cleveland Cavaliers from a points per but game at the shooting guard position. That's the biggest. That's the biggest weakness of their game, though. Like I don't. No, but that, but no, but but there, Madaris, What I'm saying is, it's not just how many points per game does their shooting guard get. It's it the gravity be, of Donovan Mitchell. There is. How do you? Using for that? He's, he's not going to make players like Isaac. Do you, I'm saying he's gonna make better all around him with his ability to. How do you make Isaac a scorer? Can I? Can I? By did you see the way he was shooting after the All Star break? I just want to know how Darius was about to shoot. Like a top five pick in the draft is not gonna improve in his third year. By the way, Isaac Core has made no. You say what? A top five pick in the draft. Yeah, that happens sometimes. What point are you making? He won up eight points in true shooting from year one to year two. He's getting better at basketball. You feel like that's not going to happen in his third year? Not going to match. Wait, Darius, Darius. Darius is not going to help that? Darius, let me hear Darius. All right, man. Personally, I don't think it's a bad deal. I don't think it's a bad deal. Personally, I don't think it's a bad trade. In fact, I'm okay with it. I'm very sad that Saxon's gone because he's my favorite player, but it's whatever. We got Donovan Mitchell, though. And uh, personally, for me, when it comes to the direction of the team, it's very clear they're kind of they're trying to compete for a championship. So, uh, personally, I think Mobley is going to take a net massive jump next year. I've been pushing that propaganda. Um, now, I do agree with Lowe, though, about one thing, and that's the cap flexibility. Um, we just trade like our entire, bench, and we could have had a much cheaper option with Sexton, and we paid. Now, the image is like on near a max. So, I don't know about that. Um, Sexton now getting paid $72 million. I honestly do believe that if you, they're being providing the main thing that we need is scoring. Mm-hmm. And um, you could have paid way less for that. So, I understand where Lowe is coming from. But overall, though, I do think they are one of the best teams in the in the NBA right now, at least in the regular season. Um, my biggest concern, though, right now is uh, the wing position at the three. Okay, and, no, um, they know. It's non-existent. We all agree. Like, they don't have wings. They don't have, like, that's certain the thing, though. Not offensive only do they players not off the bench. They don't have any point I of think... attack, guys. Yeah, that's a, yeah, yeah. They don't have, like, much. Well, and outside have, of the well, and, and Eli, outside they don't have the any floor. serviceable offensive well, players, like, outside of their, like, well, top I, 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 four I, or five. I think like, I don't play. take this team play. serious. I, okay. I don't either. I don't either. I'm, I'm Jesus, let, let this nigga, because nobody's saying it. Nobody's taking them serious right now. 
Darius, please finish, finish, finish. All right, my I do. Uh, he said I they're think. trying to build towards contention. I nigga, shut the fuck, nigga. I we know what he said. Jeez. Go ahead, go Darius. Isn't Eli in school right now, bro? What's going on? Anyways, though, cook him. Um, I'm not anymore. Lamar Stevens, though. And you guys got louder. Those, those are those are guys like they are good point of attack the, the, the defenders, but like they're not playable though. So I kind of agree. I just you at this point you got to just bank on them making progress and playing at the three. So, um, but with Mobley and Allen still like they're still easily one of the best defenses in the oh in, in the NBA. So I I do I do see the concerns with this team, but like overall at least in the regular season. And the expectations for this team, like, I, I just don't see how you can't say they're not expected to win a championship because they have arguably, by the end of next season, they're going to have at least four top 30 players, well, top 40 players in the NBA. And that's that's already a high ceiling for your team. So I don't see, I, I don't see how they aren't going to be that, like, Good next year. Can, you know, can I? Yeah, wait, 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 DJ, DJ. Wait, wait, before you go, DJ. Can we clown the Knicks, question. bro? These niggas are out here. <laughs> These niggas are out here posting RJ Barrett getting an extension, bro. This is so funny, man. I, can't even, I, I, I fucking, I fucking hate these zesty I, nobody, ass niggas. Nobody, man, I, this is nobody, a great day talk, for the association, no, man. I feel like nobody's talking about them enough. They didn't get, the, they didn't yeah, get they, the they, 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 they wanted. They signed RJ they Barrett. They're, these niggas are celebrating RJ Barrett getting an extension, bro. Such a poverty franchise. Man. Oh, just, just, yo, just they'll just never put, be good at anything, man. Just, huh. put, just, just put I love before you. we go to before we go to snipe. MMZ, are you saying that on that Bobby March tweet? Is he saying that like the one point six eight will be? spread out through the lifespan of his contract or is he saying well, each year it's one point six eight million extra? I think I think it's over the lifespan of the contract. Okay. That's what I'm thinking as well. Cap um, flexibility is an issue though. That's 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 the main issue I think as well. Because yeah, so. it's so if whoever they sign in this upcoming off season, not I mean not obviously not the one we're right now, the next year, even if it's Wiggins, which I, I saw the thing that NMZ put out, even then I think that, that that's what that's what it was a report from a few months ago. Yeah, there's no way. Report. How can we afford him so. next summer? You have, you have thirty million. Next, next summer. You have thirty yeah, million. Yeah, Lo- Love's contract's year. expiring, and the cap's been going up like so. Two, so ten but billion or so year over year. It's possible. possible. So it's possible. So it's, it's, it's possible. But basically, all the money will be going because depending on what the numbers point, look like, you probably point. have to decline your option on a quarter, though. Oh, I, oh I, man, well, I, I, I don't really care to be honest. But like, I think everyone just doesn't like the fact, like, because the thing, the, the way I view it is like this, because. A lot of teams that have a lot of picks, like the Rockets, for instance, at the end of the day, either you're going to keep those picks or you're going to cash in for basically an all-star caliber player. I just think most people just aren't really. But I would assume people build just a don't feel like they made it. You cash in, but no, that's if, but that's if, but listen, listen. The, 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 the Cavs, the, okay, the Cavs. Like I said, out of all the teams that have been rebuilding, they have gone the farthest. They have got their core. They've had two All Stars. They had a guy who was going to win Rookie of the Year. They have a deep bench. They could have been in the playoffs this year. They should have been in the playoffs. They don't have this a year. deep bench anymore. They ha- hey, listen, bro. Listen. Oh they had the bench. <laughs> they had that, and they also had their core. The core of Garland, Mobley, and Allen. Now that they have that, they have a lot of these teams that are rebuilding right now. They don't have that yet. The Pistons are still trying to figure out. Okay, bet we have Caden. The Rockets the same way. The Magic, Cleveland, out of all these other teams, have now noticed. Oh, bet. We have our core. Let's add on to this that can raise the ceiling for our team right now. By doing that, they went ahead and got D. Mitch. But I feel as if, like, when we look at the D. Mitch pairing, when you get an all-star caliber player like D. Mitch, there's other players you could say in that same range like Ingram. There's a bunch of players we could talk about. I feel like people just don't think Donovan Mitchell is the correct guy to go get, even though he is in that all-star caliber tier. That's why I think a lot of the this is a really shaky trade comes like those talks come about. All but I'm think, saying is that when you make that swing, this, no, was no, DM, bro. this was going to happen regardless. When you uh, make my, that swing, I just would like for you to have a basketball roster. And they, they, they don't really have that outside of their core right now. That's my only issue. It's nothing major though. It doesn't, I just don't take them serious. I don't look at this as like, that, no, that, that's they, literally, this is literally like year. This is like year one of, okay, bet. Our quest for a championship, and that's fine. They're not going to be – they're not going to win the championship this year. 
But this is something to put them in that. In that it's, I just think that, like, if you want to take steps towards contention, at some point I have to look at you and take you serious. Like, Minnesota, I take Minnesota serious. I don't take this team serious. And they gave up the same amount of capital, you know? And they're in the same time frame. Well, have I'm you saying. ever seen someone like... Some- have some, someone like agree with somebody and like they continue to regurgitate the same yeah, point. I'm agree. just giving my opinion. I'm no, not, you I'm not, it like twenty green, times, man. nigga. Snipe, okay. snipe. Let me let me hear okay. let me hear your thoughts okay, on this snipe before okay. we add Go Bells in here. Where did Go Bells go? What the hell? I think he went to make his video. He said, "Hey, like, I, I ain't gonna go. hold you, bro. Yeah. Hey, I'm excited, man. From Cleveland, you feel me? I I woke up, nice little nap, bro. I check I checked my phone, went crazy because obviously. I thought Donovan was going to either Miami or New York, but I ain't going to hold you. And I don't know if y'all – I know y'all probably keep up with, uh, like, the news a little bit more than me, but the Cavs was never even on my mind for it to happen. I thought it was a done deal with Miami or New York. So, to see it, um, the little transparency, bro, like, I know a lot of people not saying y'all not going to take it serious, but I think sometimes, though, in basketball, it's some teams that you don't take serious and still make huge leaps. Like, if we look, look at, like, Atlanta, right, when they beat fucking Philly and went to the Eastern Conference Finals, like – Nobody I'm serious, you know what I'm saying? And there's other teams that we did take serious, like the Bucks who get their ass whooped before they made it. So I don't really ma- I don't think it matters if we take them serious or not. If you're gonna win games, you're gonna win games. The East is pretty hard, so I know it's gonna be tough for them. But I I don't really know the numbers as far as what happened on the trade, like uh, contractually. But you gotta look at it like this, right? The Cavs got rid of Colin. We might have lost money like on the front end, but I got my cousins, aunties, uncles, friends calling me right now getting season tickets, nigga. They're making all that bread back today. It's excitement, bro. Excitement in the city. People are excited to watch Jonathan Mitchell play, especially with, with Darius Garland. We still got Jared Allen, Evan Mobley, as y'all said, bro. But it's and nice. One that thing I gotta never been an like, issue, bro. At some point, this team was going to get that attention. No, no, no. That's not true, though, bro, because I'm from the city. I'm a when born Evan fan. We've never – Run, Evan, run. Evan, Evan, every Mobley starts step. peaking. Oh, man. Yeah, but, but, but okay, oh, okay. Man. But if. we're what, we're looking at things. Ain't no uh, if. There's no if. No, it is isn't it because we're looking if at and anything. There's if no, at nigga. Okay, okay. okay. Damn, damn, nigga, can I talk, nigga? God damn, nigga. It's it's no, no, no. Damn, bro. All I'm saying is y'all act like niggas. Look, I keep it a buck, bro. Niggas don't always get to meet their full potential. Brandon Roy, uh, uh, Grant Hill, these niggas, bro. It's not. It's not a for. It's not like it's a for sure thing, bro. He's peaking. Yeah, bro. Lord willing, hopefully nothing happens to this nigga at all. But we don't know that. What I know right now is Donovan Mitchell, as we speak, even though he's not the most efficient scorer, he is a quintessential guard in today's NBA. For he sure. can score all three levels. He's athletic. He's excited and to watch nigga. That's today. All that. Yeah, for sure. That's, that's today. Now, I love Evan Mobley. I think he should have won fucking uh, rookie of the year over Scotty. The only reason why he didn't get it because we didn't make the playoffs. Yeah, like make the playoffs yeah. yeah, that's it. All I'm saying is, though, as of today, like I know niggas, but I'm begging on Evan. I'm begging on Evan. But but today Donovan Mitchell is is one of them ones, bro. And and like I said, bro, I think that he's gonna add a lot to the squad. And we got to keep majority of the niggas we needed. Y'all already hit these points, by the way. I, I hate to rebuttal, but I'm just, I, hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie. It's a good time. Snipe, to be you're a Cavs a, you're a Cavs fan, right? It's a good, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. It's a good so time to be as a Cavs, a Cavs fan. I'm assuming you watch some Cavs games. You knew yeah. that one of the major issues was. You don't have any, and I, when I say anyone, I mean anyone outside of a Coro that can stay in front of someone on the perimeter. Literally, and you don't have, and and a Coro is basically unplayable in any playoff situation, right? So what the Cavs needed, right, was sp- it needed to take the step towards okay, we're we're going to be confident in a couple of years. Is he lagging? Is he lagging? That nigga turned. That nigga, that nigga just yeah, turned into a fucking that, that library. Why if I not going crazy? Yeah. Uh, that nigga, 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 that they block you know, Twitter. Hey, 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 low, low. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Low. I think, I think we're gonna be, we're gonna be all right, man. And uh, I know y'all niggas ain't gonna like like this, but I would not be surprised if we sneak up in there, bro. Just like, just like the Hawks did, or, or just like. Um, Miami did that bubble year where nobody knew what the fuck they had. Like, it's a possibility. Not high at all. You know, I wouldn't put my money on it. But y'all are so far removed from making a conference finals. It doesn't make. Now nah, you on my dick. Now nah, you you on my dick. Oh, nah, Low don't, no, like, no, don't like no. Low don't like no. I mean, literally, 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 liter
an unlikely situation. If anybody else, like it, like a sneaky team, sneaky favorite is all I'm saying. Sneaky favorite. I'm not expecting it. To but my but my but Miami really wasn't Miami wasn't as much as a sneaky team as this team would have been. It would the be bubble if they year, the it. bubble year, not to that extent. No, yeah, the Jimmy Jimmy Butler was before. universally viewed as a top. Weren't the Heat like a year? top? Weren't the Heat three seed that year? Yeah, like they were. They were. They were the fifty. They were the fifty. They were the fifty. Number one, they were fifty. Number two. Nah, but the Heat. The Heat were the fifth seed mainly just because they had like an an underwhelming like. And I think it was pretty. Yeah, like it was. Yeah. That entire year, I think the East was kind of close if I remember, but we were one game. Are they still playing? Really yeah, 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 so yeah, that's that's what I was really about to say. I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. I wouldn't be surprised if we end the season and the in the Cavs are still a playing team. Uh if so, it it's would possible. it would strictly just be due to it, it would strictly just be due to them niggas getting used to playing with each other. I, if, if they no, it, it would be problem. it would be because the Eastern Conference has potentially six teams that are just better. That's fine, but in like three, four years, and they keep this core, I would assume that they'll be better. Most of those six fine. teams will still be here in three years. And the East? we don't know that, nigga. I mean, we we, tell you, we, we, don't, we don't know. Yeah, but so like, I'm talking years about a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like they got. Time. That's what I'm saying. This is step one, bro. Like, you know, it's step one. Nah, I love you, hate saying, him, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, this nigga, this step nigga got to stop. Where are you? Where are you? Look, here, here's the team I'm talking about. Cleaner, bro. Is, ba- is Boston? Cleaner. Is Boston going anywhere in three years? Like, and like. Is there is, is there like a realistic path? Nah, nah, okay. nah, nah. We say a, that. Is, we say that. We say that. But, no, but, but, not, but we're saying this on, on a but Jalen no, Brown no, and, and, and Marcus Smart was almost Jaylen fucking Jaylen gone Brown last week. Come on, man. Somebody gets hurt. I can, I, I, can, I get that. Okay, but is but realistically, like for example, I can see a path with the Toronto. Brooklyn Nets. With the Brooklyn Nets are not re- like relevant in three years, right? Okay, okay. So so, but Boston, I don't really see that much of a realistic path. Miami. Milwaukee, Milwaukee, is there a realistic pass for my, um, Milwaukee? They got Giannis, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna assume Giannis they'll they'll, they'll carry it over. They is there real? Is there that much of a realistic pass for Philly? No, I actually think that no, uh, yeah, the, we we got to talk talk about that. I think in the next three four years, Philly could fall off. That's possible. Yeah, I agree. That is possible. And B right, could be gone. And B could be gone. Hard. Like, nah, that that could be done. All right. Well, Miami, 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 Toronto. I'm not counting quiet. Toronto. Jesus, it's quiet, it's quiet. It's quiet. Hey, hey, bro. Like I'm telling no, you, no, like, no. I was, I was, I was never counting. Toronto was never like one of the. This is, this is what I think. How, you know? how old is Jim? Mar- Marcel, you bro. actually don't think they can be like a guaranteed. Playoff bro, their spot. core like, out of all the young teams. No, I, I think right one of, But when we say when we say guaranteed playoff spot this year, right now, going into the season, we're all expecting that they're. They're peaking at – no, let me not say peaking, but we are expecting six yeah, The Cavs are already a, a guaranteed playoff team. Like, I don't I, – like, I But, I, I but, but, but no, no, but I can't, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't say that because if, if you don't get the six and you slip to seven, they're you know, playing. Play, they're they're playing. They're, 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 it's hard to say. Playing, they're a playing team, but, like, they should win the playing tournament is how I feel. They about. should. You're right. Yeah, they they they're should. a playing they team, but they should win the playing tournament. That's I mean, how, but, I below, I below, this is my thing. This is my thing, right? I think – like, 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 just to regurgitate what Eli is saying, like, when you really go look at it, because he was actually like really cooking. Like, this team is really not deep at all. Like, especially offensively, like this team looks like it's gonna have a lot of holes at times. And I think, I think D. Mitch, like, you're gonna, he, he might see some issues with like the lack of spacing because there were like a, like he, people tend to forget he was like on like the best spacing team in the literally. League the last couple years. But, but we talk about this team not being deep. Like when the playoffs come, half the roster not cut in half anyway. They're like nobody. No, 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 you know you're not a deep playoff team. That's the thing. You have like four guys, it's four, four, four or five guys. players. That's it. Is all four of them gonna be up the court at the same goddamn time? Yeah, God damn, nigga. We're, we're arguing. They're all we're arguing. gonna be on the floor at the same time. Yes, they are. No, I said, I said, I said, are they gonna be off the floor at the same fucking time? All four niggas gonna be off the floor. Regardless, no, but, regardless, but, but, regardless, no, but you know, but you know, but you know what's worse? Do you know what's worse? Regardless, the you know what's worse? Low, low, or isn't even like. A top four, top, like you know what I, you know what I mean. It's not a that, top yeah, four. Yeah, it's that. It's, 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 it's not only that. How's all the team four, not, all four of them niggas are heavily dependent on the other three present on the floor because Donovan Mitchell and 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 Garland will be such a mid off defensively. That they're gonna need mid off. Okay. Whoa, and, whoa, and, uh, yeah. they're gonna be ass a little, bro. Like, like, oh, okay, but but what's but the point? But the point I'm making is that one of them could come off the floor, even if it's just Allen or or Moby, 
then defensively they're dropping so much so that it's going to be a concern. And then on the offensive end, as soon as D. Mitch or Garland comes off, now again in spurts in the playoffs, it may not be that big but, of a deal, but you're going back to reverting to overly depending on Garland offensively, which we just saw wasn't that favorable. And then you're and then you're replacing you're replacing Donovan Mitchell on the bench with fucking Karis LeVert? Like, what the fuck are we talking about? No, that's crazy. Karis LeVert is ass. He needs to be. No, nah, there's holes. No, nah, that's why That's why they're a playing, playing team. Yeah, that's definitely having that's been playing to the full potential. But I'm I saying, love like, the fact that we got holes. They're going to have to fix it. They got to fix these holes. And that's, that's, Wait, that's how is it? How is this team not deep though? You got Levert, you got Love, you got Rubio coming off. Damn, that's nigga. Start off with the Jesus Christ. Christ. You start off with Levert. <laughs> but but, but oh hold on, no, he not lying though. Like hold on, it's just like you got Levert is not Levert, deep, Levert, Levert. nigga. No 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 no, I'm not saying they not deep. I'm not, but y'all yeah. acting like nah, we got niggas catch. off the roster. That I can't care. Can. You said Love and Levert. Wait, but I was wait, but I was like these are not these are not niggas. Wait, but I was generate Oklahoma. Hey, Rubio comes back, you know, looking good, bro. Then you know. All I'm saying is y'all clowns. Like, y'all, y'all niggas are y'all acting like y'all niggas are acting wait, like these up. are niggas with generated faces on NBA 2K coming off the bench. Say, like these clowning, are real people. Like these y'all clowning Tay Love like he wasn't a finalist last year for six man. But like, he, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? He's unbroken. He's unbroken. He's unbroken. I don't know about unplayable, but he's like one of those guys. They can hide him pretty well defensively. If he's not hitting his threes in the playoffs, then like there's gonna be moments where he's he's clearly bleeding value. Like that's like that's like fourth, bro. That's like. 80% of the NBA these days. Think, Every team got nah, niggas not, like that. Yeah, not but, yeah, but not as their shooting. fifth best player. <laughs> I think the, like, I think not their the fifth best player. player. I think the biggest takeaway is the fact that the uh, – I think that's the what I mean. Is we still got our first pick, our first round picks the next two years, and we got thirty million in cash space next year, and we still got all that while having a core for. Oh no, bro! Good. I agree with you. I'm 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 telling Lo that I think this is a great long term team. Yeah. I'm just saying. For the I'm saying. I'm just. Bro, bro, I, I know Karis Levert isn't Michael Jordan, nigga, but coming off the bench with Ricky Rubio yeah. and Kevin Love, like God, like I like, think I think a lot of younger long. like a lot of these rebuilding teams like Yo, the NMG, NMG, all these other teams are going to be following in the same route. They're going to they're going to make a big splash for a big star. Like that's what's going to start happening a lot now because I, I just think that's the wave now. I know Eli was talking about building your team out, and I think to an extent you have to do that. You just got to figure out your core. Once you figure out who your core is, then you cash in on getting the guy who you think can put you over the edge. And I mean, that's I, I think that's I think that's going to be the wave. I, I'll go say. Listen, man. I'll go say. I think this. this, this like the the I mean, it happened with Sabonis. It happened with Murray. It happened with. Ass, <laughs> Sub- I mean, no shit, it wasn't a good trade. Hey, I don't like. I don't like the trade. Too? I don't like the trade. I don't like the trade. But that's what niggas are doing. That's what I'm saying. I did think we, the Mitchell did, trade did we move is not Lamar good. You said what? Did Lamar Stevens get traded in in this trade too? No, no, no. 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 That's wait, another wing defender. Wait, wait, but, I just, wait, but for, I got a question for Sal, oh. Snipe, and Darius. Like, do y'all not think? Like, do y'all think this is a uh, – not maybe not – let me not say deep. Do y'all think this is a team that has, like, five, six, seven guys you trust in the playoffs? No. Nah. Like, yeah. I don't Which team? trust in the playoffs, no. Wait, but, but I, was, I, was about to, I was about to say, the only thing that made, like, the Cavs not look that great last year with Garland is because I was like, our only shot creator on the team in the playoffs. Like, that was the only person who can go get his. Sexton was out. We couldn't – like, we had no other player who can go get his. LeVert was looking like – Straight garbage. <laughs> yeah, he haven't like, been playing that well since he left Brooklyn. I'm not really yeah. expecting a name. Levert, Levert was, he was also been injured. Good, Nigga, he's also never been good. Hates Forget Brooklyn, but he's never been good. Levert, I mean, but he, Levert was all. I mean, he wasn't as bad as he was playing, though. Like, he was, I mean, we traded the first round pick for him. Yeah, for he, sure, for sure. We yeah. traded the first for a reason. I think, like, I think, I mean, I don't think this is a favorable trade to go after because, like, the whole point is that Cavs needed a tall wing. They needed somebody who could defend. So, like, Going after another undersized guard and and like the recipe for like in the NBA for two undersized guards in your backcourt is not going to really get you anything. But like or like in in years past, it doesn't like do much for you. But I mean, one, I'm from Cleveland, so like seeing the Cavs even make a move without Brown on the team, like trying to be relevant without Brown is crazy. Bro, fast. that's crazy. Like I'm excited just because we're trying to do. Something. But then like at the same time, it's like we made this move while still keeping thirty forty million in cap space next summer. We have both of our first round picks on um, the next two years, I'm pretty sure. And I mean, marketing was cool, but like, I really don't care. About he's ass, ass, so, like, he's on double, like, like, people, like, I'm not like, chill, chill, man. chill. He's not, he's not ass. He's, he's not terrible. Ass. He's not, he's, not, he's, cool. he's not ass at all. But, but what I'm saying is, everybody keeps saying, oh, you needed this, you needed this. Like, yeah, but you can't say we didn't get something. He was, 
that that yeah. we could use in exactly. the best. Like it's a great case, and we didn't we barely gave away shit for Donovan Mitchell. Like why yeah, are they not acting? Yeah, like we, we really exactly didn't give away nothing. Can kept I, bread can for I, Donovan can Mitchell, I ask the even though who we needed. Like you gonna pass that up? Like fuck. That's what I'm saying. Hey, if this if this wasn't D. Mitch, let's say y'all traded for like a Jalen Brown, would y'all feel the same way? I love Taylor Brown. And then he's a two-way player, too. So I was, I was probably still okay. better. I ain't going to lie. JB, JB would be like JB the perfect player for us. I would feel better. I would feel better. Because I feel like we got two on one. We got no, a no, lead J- player that can that can play defense. And I trust him in playoffs. He played better J- than fucking JB, Jason Tatum yeah. half the time. He'd be uh, way. Yeah, I, was, mm. I, 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 I think it's the fit. I honestly just I think. I swear y'all be passing that fire. Niggas just be talking, Trey. It's so crazy. It's so easy. DJ, to be fair, a lot of it is the fit, and, and it's not just the fit. And I know y'all hate hearing this. It's just that I just believe that if you did the, the scoring pressure, the scoring I the value of scoring would have been there with Colin Sexton at a significantly lower price. And I'm not saying that he's going to be as good. I'm not saying that. But the the a level of improvement that you're expecting from Garland and Mobley alone, bro, if you just inserted – a 20 to 22 point on quality shooting splits who put pressure on the rim and could create this for himself. Bro, that right there at 18 but low, million. But we don't think. You're not taking it because I was just nigga the disconnect is just so coming from what their goal is. Like. But Lowe's acting like this nigga just didn't miss an entire season. Who says this nigga going to be that when he come back, bro? Yeah, that, that's be, the thing. Uh, he'll, Donovan he'll Mitchell is proven to be that this year. Like, this yeah. nigga, we don't know and that nigga about to be like that. Bro, he'll be good when he comes back, bro. He have. Personally, that's the homie, bro. I know him. I'm saying is a fact is a fact, bro. Niggas just like, all right, cool. Some niggas bounce back from injury and just be Jordan all over again. That's cool, but that's not the case for everybody, bro. Some niggas lose a step. Some niggas just don't have it like that when they get back. So, there, like, you want us that, to save some bread and take a risk but when Donovan mean, Mitchell was right here to grab? Like, no. But it's not, but it's not like he sustained an injury. It was, it was a knee injury, no? Yeah, the, the, yeah he, it was injury. like an ACL. It was like an ACL or some shit. But it's not like it, it, the injury is not really that bad for him because there's nothing in his game that, like, you would see that, like, the a, an ACL tear could potentially or whatever, like, potentially just ruin his game. Like, he wasn't fucking explosively athletic. Uh, so or super athletic in terms of the NBA, he wasn't like first step quarter. though, bro. First step, bro. Hella quick. His first step like, wasn't nothing crazy though. So like he'll be fine. He can easily recover that shit. And if I you think if you've seen if you've seen him play, if you've seen Colin first step wasn't crazy shit, to you. No, nah, if you seen if you seen him in okay. these, like NBA okay. workouts or like any any recent footage of him, he looks pretty much the same. He doesn't look like he lost anything. Yeah, bro. Like I'm, I'm not really, not really. Like, nigga, you will see why the Cavs drafted Anthony Bennett number one. Nigga, get him. Fucking. Yeah, I'm talking about runs. like I'm not talking about like workouts like Stan Lowe's. I'm talking about like the private runs they be doing, where he's going against other NBA. Private players. run, nigga. Have you not seen Russell Westbrook in a private run, nigga? You, what you? Russ, Russell Westbrook's not for? ass though. Y'all niggas be gassing it. I'm just saying, bro. You talking about yeah, private yeah. runs, yeah, nigga? Bro, like, like, low, low. You're a, you're a fucking, you're a fan, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was crazy. Nigga, Jalen Hayes is out here torching Paul George's in private runs. He's not about to get picked up. I, 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 I understand what you're saying tonight, but I'm still saying though, I think that that it's still worth looking in that avenue because I and I'm not saying that they're close, I'm just saying that the gap is going to be basically half of the money you're going to pay for this type of player. Yo, bro, and you under, get under, the pops from everybody hate Chris running a fucking franchise, bro. Go get that nigga, bro. Go, yo, 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 lose the bread. Get no, the but the, but the, but the reason why I said it is because depending on what happens in this next offseason. Y'all are either going to roll the dice in the offseason, land a quality wing, and, and, and legitimately might be okay and then fill out the bench. Yeah. Or y'all are going to do the same thing that a lot of other teams do, which is just overpay for somebody who's just trying to fill in a role that you don't have to pay. And so then it's like, okay, the nigga that I just got in D Mitch, I could have had some like lesser production, like slightly lesser production at half of the cost. And now I have somebody else that I might be overpaying just because I need to fill out the roster. So well, that's what I'm and it's and it's Cleveland. Like I know Don, I know D Mitch is D Mitch, but niggas is not lining up to go to Cleveland because Donovan Mitchell is there. That's not that uh, yeah, okay. What's Sexton what's Sexton's uh, new contract? How much seventy two. But 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 if you if you mention Donovan and as an entity, then probably not. But when you put in like the conglomerate that comes with Donovan Mitchell now on a team, it's a little bit more 
intriguing to go, but it's Cleveland. I'm not expecting free agents to line up to go to Cleveland regardless. But, realis- but, reali- but re- realistically speaking, that cap flexibility would have been there anyway. So it, it has to be the selling point has to be D Mitch because the only thing that's going to be different is D Mitch. I mean, I mean, Mobley too, Allen. Like, Wait, they, but what a... I'm saying is they were already on the team. So the, the, the selling point that's different from where they were yesterday to where they are now is going to be D Mitch. Yeah, and so I'm yeah, I'm no, gonna say this. Sure, I'm gonna sure, say this. I, mean, the, I think uh, I think the, the selling point for the Cavs is literally the fact that like it, what the biggest difference is between Sexton and and Mitch and is not regular season production. It's really what um, Donovan's proven in the playoffs. Like he has only yeah. had like one bad playoff series, and that was last season. Every other playoff series since rookie year, he's had like exceptional performances. Not against the Rockets, bud. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't know why y'all. y'all there's there's series where y'all are just like going blank on what he did. It, which Got Rocky series? The first, the first one or the series. second one? The first one. No, was like, 2019. 2019 was the one. It was both. 2019 was like the only forgettable one. It was both. Okay. All right, all right, my fault. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So instead of instead of one, it's two. I ain't taking that like, okay, he, He's cool. afraid of James. I fear. It's, he doesn't instead, want of, instead of one, instead of one is two. But outside of that, like literally, I can't even. I don't think he played that well in against the Rockets in 2018 either. That's what he He played above expectations. That whole play, that whole, that whole season. Whole season. Played, I'm not where, no, he, okay, let year. me, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm mistaken. He's played the Rockets twice. Both of them, yes. 18 and 19. Yeah, he played horrible yeah. in 18 and 19. He played terrible against the Rockets in both of those series. It's like terrible. Yeah, he, he, was a, he was a rookie in the second Yeah, I and, and you, if you, you, you want to give him some leeway because he's a rookie, then. I don't like. What are we like? Then what? What, what are we talking about oh, then? His his overall playoff performance in his because he's season. had better runs. His, his no, but no, but his, his, outside. Listen, listen, listen. If you just look at like, if you just look at like his his uh, traditional stats, right? Outside of his outside of twenty nineteen, his overall playoff performances have been like really good. And then this year, you could say it was it was a a fall of how inefficient he was, but everything else is like outside of maybe last year. You could say last year, and then for sure twenty nineteen. He has been he's performed crazy. Like he averaged thirty six in one finals and thirty two in the next. It was twenty five last year, and then twenty nineteen is the only like real blemish. In his rookie season, he averaged twenty four in the playoffs. And the, I know he the, did not play the two, against the Rockets either. He played. But, like, he played, that's he the played selling factor. Selling point. The, I should say. The, and and and, that, and I think that is also to be uh, to be fair to y'all that is true. The the twenty twenty season where I mean but it was one round, so you know. But twenty twenty he played great and I wanna say twenty twenty one he also um played great in in, a, in both of those series. And or in, in all three of those series. If I'm not mistaken, in twenty twenty one he went to the second round as well. So I, I, I hear what I hear what y'all are saying. I just I just feel like if if we all know that this isn't the finished product and unless y'all are saying unless y'all are telling to me that y'all are comfortable with the idea that Donovan Mitchell will be a, a he's he is a solidified twenty five to twenty seven point score on on let's just say plus two efficiency plus two plus three efficiency in the postseason is that what y'all what y'all saying? I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, yeah. All right. I was, I was I about to say, think, I got to say, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, one thing that, like, we keep talking about Donovan, the thing about section, though, is, like, nobody has yet to see that man on a play, in, a, like, a playoff environment. Like, on a playoff team, in a, on, in a regular season, on a playoff team. And it's a shame we never will. And, like, the thing is, I, and I feel like that's the reason the Cavs <laughs> You didn't. don't know that. You don't know that. The Cavs didn't decide to take that route of, like, oh, let's pay him half you know that, for man. similar pro- – No, I don't. For just, yeah. like, slightly under the same production that you're going to get from Donovan. But the idea is, like, when Sexton was getting 30 a game for a month, like, at the end of the season, but right before COVID or the last two months, whatever it was, like, you got to think about the Cavs roster and who's on that team and who's shooting the ball. <laughs> like, I'm watching these games and, like – Sexton is he like I'm not saying he's lucky, but it's also like he's the only player on that team at the time. And it's like as soon as you take him out last year, you see the you see the Cavs go on this crazy like miraculous run that like nobody expected. Granted a lot of teams, like a lot of people we played last year were injured too, so but I mean the thing about Sexton is just like like I said, nobody has yet to see that man on a Non or on a non playoff team in the regular season to see how he can contribute to a playoff team during the regular season or during the playoffs. 
It's yeah. I, honestly, I think it's just fit, and they just got to overcome it. If they're able to overcome it over the next few years, then they they're they're gonna be straight. But um, yeah, I, I think I think this is okay. It's all right. Just fill the holes in now, as you see what's going on wrong with the team. If you need to go get a secondary wing, whatever you need for the team is now what they're going to do going forward. So. I'm, I'm the I'm biggest. Not... I've been thinking, I think the biggest, like, like again, the biggest W of this trade is just the fact that we kept our cap space, or we lost a little bit of it, but we still have enough to like go make a splash next year. And then you still have your two first round picks then over the mm. next two years. And I'm what if LeBron wants to come I'm back? A, I'm a what Reddish LeBron? fan, but like, bro, I was about to say I'd that LeBron signed that extension to two. Yeah, LeBron. LeBron can say I want to come back. But he already yeah, he extended. Extension, right? He signed. He signed. If he has extended though. He's he's signed it, bro. He's 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 No, no, no. They gonna they gonna do something. They, he's, 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 now he's Lakers would have been in the mud. But he signed it to where as soon as Bronny comes in the league, that's the team he's going to. So since y'all are so y'all 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 are so hell bit that D Mitch is gonna be this elite playoff score, then LeBron will never be on that team. So let's be clear. Um, what do you think they could drop the second Bronny, round? Bronny, Bronny, not even a lot of, Bronny, not second even a round lot of is effect, crazy. No, yeah, no, no, no. I promise you. Effect, I promise you. I promise you. Hey, Lo, you don't. Lo, you don't think the uh, Cavs are a top six team in the East? I think. I think if they are top six, they are literally number six. I was about to say. I think we better than Atlanta. But I Atlanta's not in the top. They're not in the six though. Who? Who? Who you got in the top, top six? Who is top six? The top six, the top six that we had was Milwaukee, Miami, Milwaukee, Miami, Boston, Brooklyn, Philly, and then again number six would be Cleveland if they were oh, top. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's how yeah, Toronto. That's how I feel. Okay, all right. No, I'm not. I'm not putting. I'm not putting Toronto over us. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Like, I thought niggas would have Toronto. There. It's, just, it's interesting. No, but niggas, no, I think I think said Bro- there, but they, niggas those, said Brooklyn. I think. <laughs> well, all right, y'all got it. You got it. Man. Fuck it. Well, well <laughs> nigga can't go left. <laughs> I don't know about that shit, but I right, man, I feel it. I feel it. Mm. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas. Is on <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you talking it's about the insane. nigga? You talking about the nigga that left them to damn near the best record before you got hurt? Oh, you hey, talking about? Hey, <laughs> it's bad. It's bad when low defending KD. Teams? Oh, it's bad when low mm-hmm. defending KD, bro. That's how you know it's oh, bad. Oh man. All right, that's, niggas. That's niggas talking about passing a double team. I saw Darius Garland struggling at playing, boy. I don't know. Hey, Dar- Dar- Darius Garland should be like what? Yeah, I mean, every- in the playing against the Nets, the worst defensive team in the, in the fucking postseason. And I and we have no idea. Y- y'all talking about what Demich does in the no idea what he's going to do with with because how, how many floor spaces you going to have? It's going to be fucking Mobley and Jared Allen. Nah, Low, you're right. You're no Low, you're right. Because Evan Mobley, we don't even know if Evan Mobley even the best player in his draft. We don't even know that yet. You're right. No, he's you're far, right. And, far in between. He's far. Bro, between. nigga, Fleet. everyone knows Cade's Fleet. the best player in his draft. Fleet. Fleet. Don't even, don't even, don't even cap. We're not trying to do that. Hey, so, Cade, Cade, Cade is, Cade is at what? Cade. Because unless you're telling me, unless, unless, unless you're telling me, like, the nigga's going to be, I mean, Cade would have to be LeBron because, because Mo- Mobley is Mobley. You, you ain't watch Jalen's highlight. You ain't watch Mo- Jalen's Mo- last Mo- year. Mo- Mobley, Mobley, Garnett. So I mean, what are you saying? Right hey, now? You hey, ain't hey, watch hey, Jalen's Kobe. No so. ain't, ain't no way you're telling me. Uh, Nigga, Jalen uh, is Monty Ellis with speed. Ah, 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 ah! I was the lead playback. Why do y'all keep having Michael Carter Williams? I just don't get it, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Oh wait, so just before, because I'm about, I am about to wrap up this space. I just want to be clear. This is my last thoughts. I just feel like if the the because because you could very well argue because I'm pretty sure there are Atlanta fans that are saying, "Oh no, we're still fine." Trey Young, Trey Young is a better piece. He's better player than anybody that, that's on that Cavaliers. Offensively, he's proven to be able to uh, hold an offense. We just added a point of attack defender. We actually have wings. They don't, and we have two play two bigs inside. Uh, one of which. Wait. Can actually space the floor. Hold on, what wings you got? This, this, this is, this is. I'm saying this is what Hawks fans could. could oh, do. oh, oh, oh I'm about to say. I was, I'm about to say DeAndre Hunter can't stay on the floor. <laughs> they don't got no wing for real. They got Kevin Herter though. No, he no, got, he got traded. traded. He got traded to the Kings. Oh, jeez. They got Bogdanovic. Stop. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> hey, bro, that's their team, bro. Hey, either way, the, Haw- the Hawks gonna be straight, bro. Y'all, y'all sleep. No, they don't. They're gonna be the AC, bro. Y'all sleep. Oh, no. are they gonna as do a shoot? Fake, as a fake, oh, so wait, where does where does Chicago ranking all this? 
Who AC. Cares? Hey, who cares, man? <laughs> who is the guy? If Chicago is healthy, bro, it's, it's going to be like, we know what it is. Top five, bro. Come on now. The top five. Like, top the girls are going to like MJ95. Nigga, 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 and I'm going to say we because I'm from Chicago. We have the number one seed at one point, bro. So, like, nah, you know, it is no way. Nah, nah, bro, nigga, bro, uh, DeRozan, right DeRozan I, looks I, like I know niggas from Utah and, and, and Pittsburgh is not saying we to me as I'm from the city, my nigga. Like, I'm gonna keep it a beam, nigga. There's no way that Chicago did all of that, with all that retooling, and then just be the eighth seed, nigga. That's crazy. All of that, with all that retooling, just be the eighth seed, nigga. That's crazy. For the whole, no, that nigga has another Wilk stretch. Y'all niggas is crazy, bro. Zach better. Zach finna go crazy. You know, he got his contract. Jalen better than Zach. Jalen Jay- Jay- who? Jalen Brown? I don't say, yo, I'm going to say right now, if that nigga Donovan Mitchell struggles with no floor spacing, I don't want to hear him, bro. I mean, nah, I'm not worried, though. I'm this this space wild. not even recorded. Off so off off this this space is recorded. No floor spacing. Wow. You, you'll, you'll no, but, shrug, but shrug, struggling to the point where, because his impact is supposed to be what he provides offensively scoring and also, especially in the playoffs. Correct? Yeah. Yes. Okay. If that nigga's efficiency plummets yeah. in the postseason because he doesn't have proper floor spacing and this team that doesn't have the depth to rotate quality pieces in, even if they do add in pro- better floor spacers, defense is going to suffer even more. So uh, that's, uh, that's the only thing I'm saying. The team, in short, I'm saying the team is not really built to maximize a pairing of Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland. That's all I'm saying. I think, hey, man, I think, a no, hey, I think, I think no, it's struggle. not. I think Kobe. I think, no, I just, I think, I think that with Mobley and Mobley and Allen, and if you add in a solid point of attack defender, their defense is going to be one of the better in the league. I'm about to, yeah, I'm about to say the, the trade I, that we did yeah, also right. it opened up a roster spot, and I think that we're well, going to try and go get our wing. I think we're gonna I mean, try. Not I, this year, I don't though. think this year not it, but they, they no. I think I think this year we should, like. I think we're gonna go like try either sign a wing or go get somebody like. Oh, young in terms of our read, yeah. You said what? Who, bro, bro, low? You saying who? Like niggas don't nigga the wings wings for you? Uh, they come out of nowhere. Bro, I said it. I said it <laughs> earlier, come bro. Out of no, what? what? Which wing? Bro, what, which wing? I don't know which bro, wing. Why, why, why are you? Why, okay, why are you acting like? Listen, acting listen. Like, I got this. Like, I got this. Like, he's saying they're gonna get some elite wing. He's yeah, just saying, saying they need a wing. I ain't saying elite. I'm just saying that they're about to go get somebody. <laughs> Look, I got this idea in my head where we get Cam Reddish, bro. I've been had it since the draft. Oh, bro. LeBron, hey. LeBron James. Hey. Oh, hey, oh, hey, Danny oh. is not fit, man. All I need hold is up, bro. Okay. Danny, hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Danny Age is not listen. slick, bro. Hold on. Danny Age is not slick, bro. He got the 2024, 2025. Like, he got all these uh, picks, bro. He's going to draft Bronny, bro. No cap, hey, LeBron to the Utah. Bro, no LeBron cap. going to Utah. Is LeBron's going to be oh in the Utah God. Jazz hey, jersey, bro. Y'all, y'all, y'all not, not fucking with Cam? No, no, no. Hey, no, I fuck, I fuck with Cam, bro, but he really do I got think the, the Cavs, I think Oh, the Cavs, he dropped please, the album tonight? Please, yeah. no. Please, no. I think the Cavs could get him. I'm not going to. I think, I, I think, like, he would be somebody who could fit who's available right now. He ain't played great defense last year compared to, compared to the uh, playoff run the year before, but, I mean, like, in that playoff run, he was what, averaging thirteen. He was coming off yeah, the bench, I mean, giving the Hawks still, some that's life. Still inconsistent floor spacing. So that yeah. not really clicks. What did it, anybody know? What he shot from the three? He wasn't a terrible three point shooter. Who? Cam in what New York? Uh, Cam Cam is just like. Uh, y'all remember Terrence Williams? I was about to say, hey, bro. man. D, y'all hit up the Cam. I fuck with man. Cam, but y'all hit up OKC for Kemish Williams, man. That nigga, Cam, we got to win for him. Cam, when he got traded to New York, granted he did not play that many minutes, so I want to be fair. Cam, when he got traded to New York, shot 26% from three. And then his last year in Atlanta, he shot 26 Bro, he sucks. He sucks, bro. Hey, nah, he's still him, bro. He's an opportunity. And, and, and I'm, as somebody who, who watched him when he was in Atlanta, he started off last year as a quality three-point shooter, but a lot of that shit was because how much manipulating Trey Young was doing to defenses. That's it, bro. Let me not say that's it, but that's a huge portion of hey, it. Hey, Garland can help that. Not to the, not to the, not to the level of Trey Young, but we'll see. That's, we'll see because right. we'll, we'll definitely suck if Cleveland is the eighth seed. That's you know, not uh, happening. They won't be. They won't be. It's all right. The eighth seed for the Raptors and Bulls. I will, I will bet you right now. Unless injuries have that, there's no way there will be an eighth seed. No way. 
I got a lot of faith in Donovan Mitchell. I just don't have it. But bro, all it's right, bro. not just D Mitch. It's not D Mitch. I would have said there's gone. no way there's Jared an AC without D Mitch. Lowe just Mitchell. don't like guards that are under 6'3 and score over 25 points per game. That's about it, bro. Hey, man. I mean, not they don't much. win. So there's nothing wrong with that. D Mitch ain't the best who, on the who, team. Who, who else, who else uh, is applicable? I'm trying to figure out is anybody else I don't like that's like that. D Fox. Oh my goodness! All yeah, right. you said that earlier. I, mean, I can't remember that. You said D Fox. Yeah. Who, who else? Who else? Uh, uh, well, I mean, he's like six five, but still, I just want to know. You like, know. You're like, yeah, I don't mind SJ. I, I mean, you fuck I, with I, Cole, you fuck I, with Cole I, Anthony? Hell no, that nigga is not good. Of course you don't. That nigga six six one. Of course, you know. I feel it. I feel hey, it. Cole Anthony's him. Uh, he oh, is nice. He is nice. nice low, nice. low. Were you a fan of Prime Isaiah Thomas? I'm. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, who? Prime Isaiah Thomas. He was a fan. Boston Celtics, they so? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that nigga was not it either. All right. Um... <laughs> <laughs> God, niggas are nasty. Man. Right, I'm gonna I'm I'm catch y'all later. I just I just hope that this team is more than an eight C because I don't think they're that far removed from the from the Chicago Bull Atlanta Hawk realm. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Having four All Stars in your lineup and you talking about an AC is crazy. That's wild, man. Like that's some hating ass shit. I'm not gonna lie. And their bench isn't that bad. Like I don't, I don't, I don't see the point. Their bench. Is, I understand what y'all saying is quality players on the bench, but in the playoffs, thing, not playable. Like Kevin Love. Will I'll not give you Kevin playable. Love. I'll give you Kevin Love. But yeah, I don't think Karis LeVert is playable. Mm-hmm. But you can still got guys like Rick Rubio, uh, Dean, Dean Way, Lamar Stevens, who are really good point attack Bro. players, actually. Bro, you did not say Dean Wade, bro. He's actually good, bro. So. <laughs> oh, oh my god! See, this is what I'm saying. I'm not throwing. Like, are you? Are you, you think I'm joking right now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying he's. I'm not saying he's a quality, but he would. I just got to see the volume of three point shooting go up for him first, because it, because there's there's plenty of point of attack players, but like Matisse Thybul was, was a, a really good defender. He was unplayable because he couldn't. He was a he was an inconsistent three point shooter. I mean, Matisse is just basically an offensive line. I mean, I the thing about the thing about the, actually has some like consistency with the shooting. I think. How about the thing about the Cavs though is like, it's not like our perimeter defenders were good last year either. Like, it's not like we had good defenders on the perimeter. It's just like we had that height, we had you know in the paint that it kind of just saved their asses low key. Like, so I mean, I don't know. All right, bro, I gotta go. I gotta pick up my car. I'll, I'll catch up later. Bro.